did you just kind of naturally gravitate towards this kind of dungeon master role or uh, how does how does that happen? I mean, do you ever get to just be a person playing the game anymore? Every now and then. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a rare occurrence. Okay. Um, these days, just because of time. Um, but and you're a control freak. No. <laughs> <laughs> Weir- weirdly, no. Uh, yeah. d- to that degree. But it's, it's just, uh, it's a position I love. And for a long time, the person who runs the game, the Dungeon Master, Game Master, whatever the system is, is it's a lot of effort comparison to being a player where you just show up and play for the most part Mm -hmm. so a lot of people don't want to take up that mantle so often you fall into the role because no one else is willing but you all want to play and so you're like well all right i'll do it and so that's kind of how it starts and then you realize yes it is a lot of effort and a lot of energy to prep and you know try and and be at your best when you come to the table but it's so fun it's there's nothing quite like it in my opinion it's it's this beautiful gift if you have a right if you have a good group of people and you all have a good rapport and you you trust each other you can really create some magic at that table uh and and it feels like magic because it's it's all improvised it's all based on what you're coming up with and reacting to each other and the world with and the dice uh for those who haven't played the games you roll them to basically uh, set success and failure for moments of challenge or difficulty. If you're trying to mm-hmm. convince somebody of a lie you're telling, so they'll let you through into a private, you know, club. Uh, you roll to see if you succeed or fail, you know, and then based on that success or failure, the story takes different choices and different avenues. And so it's this thrill of not knowing what's going to happen next. Um, and, and as a dungeon master, being able to, to build that space and gift that to your friends, be like, I made this for you now, play with it, break it and make it ridiculous. And then they do. And it's, it's just, it's a very, I don't know. It's a very fulfilling experience for me. 